So from here you can see it have a very good proportion and a very good, uh, very good uh, attitude. And uh, actually why we design it, we want to, to take this to our potential customer who is young. Basically not the young, not that mean, uh, just means that uh, the age is young. Maybe the mindset is young for the, for the young people. So for the, for the good design, I mean, uh, especially in Xpeng, we want to make the high tech more obviously. And we want to use design to show, yeah, this is a high tech feeling car. Like if I call him, Ni hao xiao pi. Look, this will turn to you and like uh, very emotional. Like uh, he uh, have some uh, intelligence and to have a capability to think about things and talking with you like that. Xpeng in its positioning is slightly more upmarket, it's a bit more of a technology company as well. So any new Xpeng launch is, is significant. They're more akin to almost like a, a Tesla and how it's approached to technology. So yeah, Xpeng being here is significant for the brand and where it wants to go in Europe. so many uh, new car makers coming in from China that are effectively beating them at their own game and for less money. Um, so it's quite a set of headwinds to have to face, to then have to completely restart a brand, for example, with Audi, or uh, launch a whole new range of small cars with uh, the brand group core, the Volkswagen, Skoda, and Seat and Cooper, for example. So uh, it's, it's a ton of headwinds. I certainly wouldn't wish to be them right now. This is a car that represents the best of BYD. Engineering, efficiency, and everyday usability. The C60 DMI Touring has been developed for Europe and mainly for Germany. The C60 DMI series is built on super DM technology. With this vehicle, we are further expanding our portfolio of revolutionary plug-in hybrid models. Chinese car buyers and therefore the cars that are being developed in China are materially different because it's all about the software, it's all about the technology. Chinese customers care less about the way the car drives, the way cars handles, maybe even branding and premium positioning in the way that we do in Europe and it's all about the technology. We hear Chinese car manufacturers, we, they, they talk in China speed about how quickly they can develop cars. They can develop cars in about two years compared to four to five of European car manufacturers. They're using a lot of AI in car design and AI can speed up the car design process. But if buyers are less interested about the way the car looks and handles, less effort and less energy goes into the way that car looks and handles and therefore comes back more to the technology again.
is still very much the feeling when you walk these halls, the Chinese are dominating still. They've brought their A game as well. They're coming to Europe in vast numbers, bring quality products at low prices. And I'd say 90% of the attendees here seem to be from Asia. So they're really keen to make inroads into the European market. It's a very, very wealthy market for them. So I think Volkswagen European manufacturers still have their work cut out.